Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And maybe you didn't realize this, but according to the Christian Bible, Eden was not part of the creation story. Ah! Artifacts was freaking out! Not quite. Okay. Well, right here he has proof. This is Genesis chapter 2, verse 7 and 8. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted the garden. I'm going to repeat that. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. So, right there you have it. The average preacher will tell you that Eden was part of the creation. And the Christian Bible clearly says that it wasn't. The question is, why is this allowed to go on? Why don't people point out to their hometown preacher, hey, the Garden of Eden was created after, repeat, after the creation. It was planted there. It wasn't part of the creation at all. And Adam was not formed there. So we don't know where they formed him. It doesn't really say Adam was not formed in the Garden of Eden. He was formed elsewhere, and he was placed in the Garden of Eden. Uh, by the Lord God. Just a little bit of trivia there for you, but it's important to understand these distinctions. Because you won't have any preacher anywhere in this country, or anywhere around the world, that actually uh, points this out. It's a huge distinction. It means uh, the garden was planted well after creation. And... That runs completely contrary to religious dogma that says the garden was indeed planted, was indeed part of the creation, and it wasn't. Now, I uh, had something running. Well, there you have it. You can take it or leave it, but I'm not making this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. The Garden of Eden was not part of the creation scenario per se. The Bible says it, I didn't. I'm artifacts tomorrow.